Hello and welcome. My name is Bram, and in this video, we are going to discuss how to move from a product centric to a customer centric organization. Since there is quite some ground to cover, I cut this video into multiple parts. Initially, we will dive into the following three aspects. Number one, what is customer centricity? Number two, what is product centricity? And number three, how do product centric companies differ from customer centric ones? We will also have a part where we will only focus on the steps necessary to make that change happen. That video will all be about how you can make that shift to a customer centric organization. Back to part one. Back in the day, most multinational corporations and enterprise companies relied on product-centric approaches and focused their efforts on developing new products by leveraging technology or specialized skills. These days, however, companies are increasingly seeking the value of adopting a customer-centric approach and putting their customers at the heart of all they do. So what is customer centricity? In a nutshell, customer centricity refers to the act of putting your customers at the core of your business. This means that your business objectives, goals and mission should resolve around the idea of creating a positive experience for your customers and or delivering value to them. Generally speaking, customer centricity businesses believe that their clients are the primary reason that they exist and they're happy to go the extra mile to keep their customers happy. Some examples of customer-centric companies include Amazon and Zappos. There are plenty of strategies that customer-centric company relies on, but all these strategies fall into three broad category. One, customer development. Two, customer retention. And three, customer acquisition. So let's start with customer development. Firstly, customer development is all about making your existing clients more valuable. Here, companies analyze their data and identify patterns to come up with cross-sell and upsell opportunities. This helps them increase the average order value, AOV, and lifetime value, LTV, of each customer. Do note that customer-centric companies do not aggressively upsell customers just to hit their sales goals. Instead, they make it a point to only upsell customers when it makes sense and when it results in a win-win. Number two, customer retention. With customer retention, companies basically engage and cultivate their customers so that these customers stick around for the long run. Again, this helps the company increase its customer LTV. One major benefit of investing in customer retention is that it helps companies increase productivity and save cost. Acquiring new customers can cost up to five times more than retaining an existing customer. And the success rate of selling to an existing customer is 60 to 70% as compared to success rate of selling to a new customer, which is five to 20%. Number three, customer acquisition. Finally, Customer-centric companies also take great pains to fine-tune their customer acquisition strategies so they acquire the right type of customers. More specifically, these companies tend to focus on acquiring customers based on behaviors instead of demographics. For example, a customer-centric company might use a tracking code and their CRM system to keep an eye on these leads. Behavior and actions take on their website and reach out to leads who have engaged in certain actions, say, view their pricing page five times in a single session or downloaded three different leads magnets from their site. Being customer-centric versus having good customer service. Some companies mistakenly adequate being customer-centric with having good customer service. But in truth, customer centricity is so much more than that. Think about it this way. Truly customer-centric companies offer their customers a great experience throughout their buying journey and delight their customers at every touch point. If you're hard at work optimizing your support strategy, that's great. But don't just stop there. 
you should also try to improve your other interactions with your customers and think about how you can create a better overall experience for sad customers. Thank you very much for watching and please share or like if you feel this video contributed to your learnings.